And today, I just want to look at some things that interest me. No different than what I always do. I think there's enough evidence on my channel to disprove the historical narrative. And I can name another dozen excellent channels who also have over a hundred videos disproving, in my opinion, the narrative. But photos are an important part of it. For instance, when we look at this picture from Italy, we see that the old world had skyscrapers. When we look into our history, even in recent newspaper articles, we find that there were Egyptian ruins in the Grand Canyon. When we look at old maps, we see a nation called Tartaria on at least a few hundred different maps. And yet, this nation is not taught about in schools. When we look at the realm from above, we see sophisticated layouts and feats of engineering, often found in remote places with very little explanation. When we examine star forts found all throughout the realm, we find some of the most sophisticated engineering, indicating these were built by a people who understand the implementation of frequency and complex geometry. And while further examining the star fort narrative, in which they are commonly called bastion forts, we are told these were to defend against cannonballs, and yet thousands of these star forts are also said to be built before the invention of the cannon. In Chicago, we're told they built seven city halls in around a 20-year period. One of them, we were told, they demolished in order to begin building the new one right next door. And yet we do see old photos of both of them standing in controversy to the narrative. We've discussed technology that's found on the top of all of these buildings, such as seen on this post office right here. And yet how these technologies may have been reverse engineered from nature, as we can see here with these radiolaria. And the radiolaria is basically a silica sea-dwelling creature, very tiny. And it's said that their carcasses make up most of the sand. And I think it would be very easy to recreate these photos, taking pictures of old buildings with old cameras, staging them with props and people, and I have no doubt one could portray whatever story they would want to.